All right, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a few simple tips of things you need to remember in order to help out these bots and spiders whenever they're trying to crawl your site. So remember I said that a bot is pretty much an automated program that's gonna go to every single web page and it's gonna start gathering up information about it. So it's gonna gather up all the text and stuff and it's also going to gather up all of the links that are on this web page. Now, for each of those links, what it's going to do is it's going to go to those, and that basically is what a spider is. It goes to those links, and now once you get to this page, you're going to gather up all of these links, and then you're going to go to them. So, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because if you ever have a page that cannot be accessed by clicking links, let's say that you have a page that you actually need to type in the full URL into a browser, then there's no way that that spider is ever going to find it. So let's say on my homepage, I, you know, have a bunch of different sections, but I put these links to all of my, you know, programming videos and computer science videos. But I also have this math section right here that has a bunch of math videos. Now the thing is, there are no links to that math section or any of those math videos anywhere on my homepage. So how the heck is Google going to find this? It doesn't just, you know, start typing in random crap in a browser and, uh, you know, hope it's a web page. What it does is it crawls it. So make sure that everything is connected via links. Very important. Another thing I want to point out is do not put text inside images. So you see we have a link to the Java beginners video right here. This link is text. So whenever Google goes to this website, it already has a little indicator of what it is because of this text right here. Now, if this button right here was just an image, like one ping or JPEG or something, it would have a very difficult time of reading that this is a stream, that this is the forum. So same thing goes with logos. Whenever you have a logo, Google has no way of knowing that this says the new Boston education. I mean, I'm sure Google does because they're pretty smart and they probably built a million programs for it. but the crawler is going to have a very difficult time of reading text inside images. Now there's actually a way, a cool technique that let's say you have a picture of an elephant on your homepage for some reason, there's actually a cool way that you can tell Google, hey, this is a picture of an elephant since it can't just look at it and automatically know it. So we're going to be taking a look at that later on to kind of help it out. But for now, as a general rule, do not have text inside images, at least important text. And the last thing I want to mention for this quick little tip video is these bots that Google and Bing and Yahoo make, they're actually really, really good and really smart. However, there are a few things that they're not really good at. One of them is filling out forms. So let's say that you have, I don't know, some web page that you go to, but you need to fill out a form to get there. Maybe you need to enter your email or name to see it or whatever. Google is going to have a really difficult time of ever finding what is behind that form. And another thing is a lot of these social networking sites, what you need to do is you need to be logged in to actually see the content. So let's say that on my website, I don't know, a lot of these videos were public. You don't need to make an account or anything, but maybe, and this isn't the case with mine, but let's say that you had to make an account to view someone's profile. So kind of like Facebook. Well, if you need to make an account to view someone's profile, Google is never going to do that. It can't just automatically make accounts for social networks. That would be cool if it did, though. And all of this content right here is therefore never going to be crawled, never going to be stored in their database, never going to appear in their search results. So again, remember, a couple key things. Make sure everything is connected by links. If you go to your website and you can't access it just by clicking links, then Google is never going to find it. Make sure you don't have text inside images and also make sure that you don't have a lot of your important content behind private pages or pages where you need to be logged in to access. So again, some quick little tips just to get started, just to help out your crawler. And in the next video, we're going to be really getting into the good SEO stuff. It's going to be awesome. I'll see you then.